Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today I'm gonna to share with you guys a secret hidden menu that you guys have never seen before. You probably never knew existed, but it has a lot of really good details. And it's all around Wi-Fi on your phone and everything that is around you that you're able to connect to. So you can take a look at the different channels if you wanted to connect it to a 2.4 gigahertz, maybe a five gigahertz. You just wanted to see you know, which one was maybe a better connection. You can see what you're connected to currently. You can say, take a look at the RSSI, the channel utilization, the link speed, the, the good and the bad on the bottom. So there's a lot of really cool things that you're able to do, but this is basically your Wi-Fi developer option. So I'm gonna show you how you're able to unlock this. Uh, it's really, really similar to the normal developer options on your Samsung phone. So when you go inside of settings, you scroll all the way down, you go inside of about phone, you tap on your build number seven times. And once you tap on that seven times, it now unlocks developer options. Now through here, there's a lot of stuff that you can change. You can, uh, you know, tweak a few things. You can update some of your, uh, you know, animation scales, which is one of the main things I do. I also have stay awake. Sometimes I have my phone stay awake. Sometimes when it's charging, if it's just right next to me, then basically I just turn off the display if I wanted to. So there's some things you can change inside of developer options. Now, when it comes down to the Wi-Fi developer options, it's more or less just details about all of your Wi-Fi things that you're mostly just kind of taking a look at. So how you unlock it is you go inside of your settings, you can go inside of your connections, and then this is where you go inside of Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't wanna do all of those steps, you can just simply scroll down, press and hold on Wi-Fi icon, and it takes you into the same screen. Now this is where you go to the very top right hand side and you click on intelligent Wi-Fi. Now inside of intelligent Wi-Fi, this is where they have everything that's pretty smart, all of the really cool features for Wi-Fi, you know, such as switch to better Wi-Fi networks, turn Wi-Fi on or off automatically, things like that. Uh, but on the very bottom, you can see where it says intelligent Wi-Fi and then the version. Well, this is where you wanna tap it about five or seven times. Once you tap on that five or seven times, it will unlock Wi-Fi developer options and here you are in the screen. You can take a look at some of your history. So the router specific history History, the time specific history. You can take a look at Wi Fi and network diagnosis stuff. Uh, you can take a look at your network Wi Fi information and connection information. So, connection information is really just kind of showing you what you're connected to currently the RSSI, your channel utilization, the link speed, and then the good and the bad on the bottom. Now, I will probably blur a few of this right here, but if you go inside of L2 status and also L3 status, it will give you more details, such as the country code, security type, the generation. So, is it generation, you know, Wi Fi? Wi-Fi 6, is it Wi-Fi 5, also the protocol. If you go inside of the next status, it'll show like IP address, gateway, network prefix length, DNS, things like that. So there's a lot of really cool stuff in both of those screens. If you're just curious to take a look, then inside of the nearby Wi-Fi, this will show you what is good, bad, best, worst to connect to. So when you tap on any of these, let's say that I tap on this one here, this is gonna let me know that this is basically the worst one to connect to. And this is one that's not even at the home, so Obviously, that one's not going to be that great. Uh, you'd be able to take a look at a few other ones. So this one is a great one to connect to. So this is underneath best and it's a 2G. So basically, you're going to have some good penetration going through this because 5G is faster, but it doesn't penetrate as many walls. And also, it kind of depends on where you're sitting in your home. Now, underneath the channel utilization, you'd be able to take a look at you know the channels 1, 6, and 11, and then the frequencies underneath there. Down here, it'll kind of give you the best channel recommendations. So right over here, the best channel to connect to is going to be 1 and 11. Uh, underneath that 2.4 gigahertz band. And then for the five gigahertz band, you have the 36 and 40, 44 and all those. So you can see that we're definitely hitting and connecting to that 36 right up over here. So if we go on back over here, let's say we take a look at that nearby Wi-Fi settings and stuff. So if we take a look at this one over here, you can be able to see that this one, uh, the Wi-Fi standard is 11 AC, bandwidth is 80 megahertz. Uh, and then this one, you'd be able to connect uh, to all these different, or this is the frequencies and everything that you'd be able to connect to. So frequency 5200. So this one's going to be that 5G option. So channel utilization right up over here, you can see the 1, 6, and 11 for 2.4. You also have your 5 gigahertz. It shows the, the, the channels of you know, 36 and 40s. And then underneath that Wi-Fi history, you have like router specific history. You can take a look at a couple different uh, connections if you wanted to. So this is the one of the Nighthawk ones that I have. You can go inside of uh, this other connection. This is the one I'm connected to. You can see what is connecting, connected, disconnected, connecting, uh, the DHCP. So there's a lot of router specific details if you wanted to. And then again, the time specific. So this is what I showed from before. Uh, so you can see 
you know, if you're in a good spot or bad spot, things like that. So lately I've been in the YouTube room. And so this is kind of, where, you know, where we're sitting right now for the RSSI and you can go through and you can also change some of these again, good, bad, you can retry and then beacon count. So that's pretty much it for everything inside of the Wi-Fi developer options. A lot of it is mostly just information. So you can take a look at information. You can use that information. There's not a lot of settings and features that you can turn on or off and change things like that. All of, all of that was in the previous screen with the normal uh, intelligent Wi-Fi screen menu that you saw. But but this one's gonna give you some really good information. You can even do, do a couple checks and diagnosis if you want to. You can go through and, and take a look at, you know, maybe one of the main Wi-Fi's that you use possibly, see what is the best channel recommendation, and maybe go through some of the settings of your specific, you know, literal Wi-Fi of your home. Go through, you know, your, your modem uh, that you're able to cha make changes for the frequencies and channels and stuff. So maybe you can get better bands that you can connect your smart home devices to. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to show you how you're able to get into Wi-Fi developer options. It's a pretty cool, cool screen. It gives you some information that you've probably never seen before. Um, a lot of people don't really care about it, but it's fun to take a look at. And if you are into it, you can also learn a bunch off of this one to see what's going on and things like that. But hopefully you guys appreciated the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.